Hi there, it's Rick here from The Game Creators. Today I'm going to show you the preferences and a special sandbox mode. Sometimes you'd like to try out some code, but you don't want to start a new project. Well, Studio has a sandbox mode, and let's have a look at that now. So let's just say we create a new source file. Sandbox mode lets me code and run anything without having to have a whole project. Let's just jump into the example section. There's a Starfield demo we can use. Let's scroll down the help, and this is the full source listing. We can drag and drop that into sandbox mode, and then just run it in sandbox mode. So it's just a quick way for you to try out code. Let's take a deeper look at some of the preferences for the editor. So the uh, symbols list can be turned on or off at the top there. Uh, line numbers on off, auto completion can be turned on and off, uh, the tab sizes, the font size, auto indentation and smart indentation if you prefer those to be on or off, the path from tab names can be turned on and off uh, if they're there, in the IDE the font size, toolbar can be smaller or larger, only display active project files uh, at the top here. If you turn that off, then you get all the files in the project list. So you can simplify it and focus on your main project. Uh, display projects media folder in the Assets Browser. So if you just want to focus on one project that you're working on, you do that there. Load the classic DLC on Startup so you can access the classic media like the Gains Pack or the Giant Asset Pack 1, if you own these DLCs, you can gain access to them here. Uh, use internal mouse pointer on or off. Uh, you can change the style of the icons at the top. Also the preview window, the background, you can change the colour for that. And um, you set that here. Uh, you've got some build options, 32 or 64 bit. Set timestamp for faster run. Um, when you broadcast, you can specify a device IP address and also when you debug. We'll be looking at the debugger in the next sneak peek. And we've got a, a fun style generator where you can just type in a number and create a random style. If you find one that's cool, share it with people in the community. Okay, that concludes today's video. Please subscribe, click the bell for updates. If you'd like to learn more about our pre-order offer coming up in March, then sign up to our newsletter on the Game Creators website here. Bye for now, thanks for watching.